so update on the on the DY new Sonda. I finished it up yesterday, so it's basically all done now. Uh, set up with the ESCs, the cap packs, tied down here with battery straps, some short ones I had laying around. And uh, the bigger ESCs are strapped down also with one big strap. Uh, I think that should do. Everything is as tidy as I can get it. I had the I had just enough room to put in the receiver right here and so the wires come down here and goes into the receiver from there and then I can have as much antenna uh, as possible coming out of the hull. A lot of people have questioned if this, uh, you know, because this is the inlet coming from the pickups underneath right here uh, and so it goes into this Y splitter not sure if that's gonna cause any issues. I kind of prefer a separate line or maybe even just one line, but I decided to just stick with however this boat was kind of designed to work. And so let's see how that performs. Also for now, I just have the standard servo in here. I will change this out fairly soon, I think. It seems to be not very powerful. And, and actually um, the only thing well, the only issue I've had with this while building it is, is that it seems like the servo horn here is a little uh, more shallow than than the than the actual width of the back here. And the boat is running the standard uh, 4074 motor combination that you can also buy directly from DIY Motors, uh, DIY Motor Shop. <coughs> so uh, this is as ARTR like as you can get it. At least that's how I build it. And then we have this signature. My little boy had a sticker pack. He wanted to add his own flair to my boat. I think that's quite cool. So that's on there. Okay, guys, just an update. As you can see right now, it's definitely not perfect time to to go out and drive some boats.